All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing two videos, or two video uploads. I'm going to do them, this one and another one, they're going to be two, two separate ones. So this one's going to be battalions and light rescues, and then the other one's just going to be miscellaneous specialty vehicles. So I'm going to try to review as much as I can in this video, and if it's not too long, I'll do the rest of the specialty vehicles in this video as well. So, I have here's rescues 7 and 8, as well as battalions 8 and 6. I tried to bring each example of all the battalions' vehicles. Um, so, we have battalion 6, battalion 8. Battalion 6 is a 2018, and battalion not, uh, 8 is a 2019 Ram. This is a 2500, so 3500. This one's made by Ertl. The only thing I did to this truck was put the six on the door and then put the lights on the roof. I had an antenna on the top as well, but when I moved, uh, it broke off in the box. But you can see kind of where the glue I used to hold it on there. Um, I'll probably eventually re-glue them on there, but as of right now, um, I'm not doing that. So this would be a uh, four-door long bed, and it does have uh, fifth wheel capabilities. All right, the next truck is a green light. This is a Ram 3500 Dually 4x4. This is Battalion 8. Put lights on the roof as well as lights on the grill. This truck, uh, the reason I did a 3500 with this is just because it's part of the brush division, so we could actually put a portable tank in the bed of this truck, and we could actually make it a, uh, a uh, brush truck if needed. These are going to go real quick. I think I think we're going to get into the specialty stuff too today. This is Rescue 8. Rescue 8 is a 2019 Chevy 3500 Duramax uh, with a reading mechanic body on it. This truck respawns. Oh, and it also has a Boss plow on the front. This truck responds to uh, medical calls in the area of Station 8. Um, to start, it has two paramedics on it, and it also responds to um, car accidents along with Squad 81. And basically, its main job is to stabilize patients uh, before um, the ambulance gets there. Nothing too special about it. Um, it has the plow on the front. Um, I have no idea how to actually take the plow off the model, so the plow will be on all year round without because I tried taking it off of one other vehicle and broke it. So I'm going to leave the plow on this truck all year round. And you can tell it's a Chevy. I mean, you can tell it's a 17 up because it has the hood scoop. Okay, next is a 2000 and this Rescue 7. This is the first light utility rescue truck that I did. This is a 2000 and 19 uh, Ford F350 Dually. This also is an Ertl. Put Rescue 7 on the side. Light bar on the roof. And there used to be a mobile crane here that I took off for this truck and that's actually the crane that's on uh, TAC 6. I had this truck, same thing. Uh, responds, this one responds with the ambulance uh, to various medical calls. It also has a plasma cutter on it so you can cut cars out and stuff like that. So, yep, that's it for the rescue trucks. I guess because this video isn't that long, we'll go ahead and finish up with the specialty stuff today. Okay, so this is the specialty stuff. Um, this is the stuff that I haven't reviewed yet. Um, this video now, from this point forward, after I get done with the decon truck this will um, conclude all my model reviews if there's any that you're watching this video and haven't seen go to my channel scroll down and you'll see them so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with dive six we'll move the brush seven and we'll finish it up with decon seven so dive seven was former rescue I mean dive six which was former rescue six but I ended up using it as a dive truck because I made TAC-6 and put an ambulance in that station and everything else. Uh, I put the crane back on. This is what 
Rescue 7 would have looked like uh, with the crane and stuff as a service truck. I put D6 here, put a light bar on that, and then I put a plow. This is the plow that I went to take off of. I have a Dodge Power Wagon. I took this plow off the Power Wagon, and I couldn't, and it broke off. I couldn't get to go back on, so I ended up just gluing it to the base of this truck. So, which works perfectly fine, and it's pretty close to almost being on the ground for the most part. So, this truck's got a plow on it now because it was doing a lot of just sitting around at the station and it needed a plow on it. So, oh, and I put a six on the hood as well. Okay, next is a 2019 F350. This is Brush 6. Brush 6 is not owned by the forestry department. It's actually owned by the city of Greenlight. Brush 6, Dive 6, and Rescue 7 are all the same truck originally. This one I put a lift kit and wheels on. Well, all I did was I had um, some small tubing that I just kind of cut and glued to the bottom of the truck and then I just put the axles through it so it gives it a whole lift kit. Put two antennas on the roof here, lights here, lights on the roof, brush six, and then I put some KC pod lights on the front here. You can see them on the grill and on the bumper. As well as another scene light there. And you can see the backs. Got a couple lights there and there as well. And this truck, though it does fully roll and everything like that as well okay now last but not least I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside so I can give you guys the full viewing of decon 7 so last but not least is decon 7 decon 7 um, is actually modeled off a decontamination unit in the city I lived in in Florida um, so yeah, so this is Decon 7. Decon 7 is a 2019 International Dirt Star with a reading, or sorry, uh, I don't remember who makes the box. It doesn't say reading mechanic body, but this is not a mechanic body on it, so that wouldn't make any sense. Anyway, um, so this truck was originally, I think it's a BF Goodrich on the side of it. So what I did was, using the original cab design, I just taped off the box, painted it red with the white stripe through it. I know it looks like a dive thing, but that's kind of... I was trying to do a stripe more like this, but it didn't really work out, so it ended up coming like this. So I painted it white first, put the stripe on it, painted it red. Put some lights, scene lights, flashing lights on the sides there. Writing decon 7 and filled in the, the door. Back same thing, D7, and put the lights there. The door doesn't like to stay shut very well on these models. There's is, I'm not going to pull it out, but in here, there is a little ramp that comes out for unloading and loading stuff. This side, same thing, Decon 7. I got some scene lights, some flashing emergency lights. And then I put a light bar on the roof, D7, and then lights on the grill. So that is it. Oh, and I have D7 on the roof as well, which that sticker doesn't want to stay down very well. So that is it with actually all the trucks. That actually took a lot uh, quicker to review than I thought. I think it was probably my quickest review, but... These little trucks here, there's not really much to review on them. So, all right, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. This should be it for model reviews. Um, I did order another truck, so I should have an unboxing for you guys next week. Um, now, the reason I've been pumping videos out every day is because um, due to COVID-19, I ended up being laid off. But I'm going to be possibly starting a new job on Tuesday. So, the coffee maker is yelling at me. Don't mind the beeping. So, my videos won't be every day like they have been. They'll be once every couple days or something like that as I go along. 
Um, I just wanted, because I've been, didn't have a job and I've been kind of bored, I've been trying to push as much content out as I can. And I figured out that I can upload from my phone so I don't have to worry about um, having to download it on my computer or anything like that. Like I originally had to, you know, deal with and whatnot. So I also hope this quality is a lot better for you guys as well. So, all right, guys. Anyway, that is it. Um, I have a couple other things I'm going to go over in other videos coming up. I have some videos and stuff planned and other stuff. So if you guys want to see something in depth a little bit more, talk about something a little bit more, whatever, just PM me, follow me on Instagram at Greenlight Fire Station 7 and you can PM me there. You can just comment on this video. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.